Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And today we're going over the install of Mercury's Vessel View Mobile. This device allows you to connect your phone or your mobile device to your outboard. Some of the things you can get off of it are RPMs, water pressure, oil pressure, the number of hours on your outboard, which is always crucial to maintenance needs. It's a fantastic device and I'm pretty excited to install it. I've had one before and I really liked it. I thought it was giving my outboard a problem before. Turns out it was just a wiring harness problem, but let's go ahead and let's dive in. Today's video is brought to you by Carl's Bait and Tackle. I've been working with Carl's Bait and Tackle for almost a year now, and they are my one-stop shop for all my bait and tackle needs. Almost year round, they have some kind of special sale going on, and that helps me pick up the fishing gear I need cheap. And Christmas is no exception. Right now we're going through the Christmas season and we're almost to Christmas. So you better head on over there really soon to pick up all those bait and tackle needs for your loved one or yourself. So you're gonna wanna head on over to Carl's Bait and Tackle before Christmas gets here. So use my link in the description to take you straight there and start your Christmas shopping today. Okay, so we have our kit here. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna move over here to the side. I'm gonna open up the top. There we go. It is opened. Open up and see what we got inside. Uh, looks like we got some zip ties, a couple mounting screws, and something to keep our wire away from things. So. Got some good stuff there. Uh, looks like we have full instructions. That's really nice to have. Some nice instructions uh, on the back of the label here. It has some um, quick start instructions. I'll let you guys look at those for a second. And then obviously we have our Vessel View Mobile. This is the device that does all the fun stuff. Uh, and we have some connections here. So not exactly sure uh, what everything's for. So I'm gonna have to dive into the instructions real quick, but I will summarize it here for you guys here in a second. So after looking at the instructions, this is actually pretty easy. So what we need to do is we'll take off the cowling and then see what kind of end cap connector we have on our 10 pin connector. This is just a weather cap, it's purple. This will be removed and we will discard it or save it for another day. Uh, this will put, take the place of whatever connector we have. Uh, I think it's yellow, but you should have a yellow or a red end cap. You'll remove the end cap, plug this guy in here, and then put the red or yellow end cap on this. If you do not put the end cap on this terminal, it will not work. So make sure you do that. And if you don't have one of those two, you're gonna to have to purchase one. So just note that, make sure you uh, read the online instructions before you purchase this. So I meant to talk about this before we got started. So Vesselview Mobile is compatible with all SmartCraft capable engines built since 2003, 40 horsepower and above. Mine's a 2011 60 horse outboard, so we should be good to use this. So first thing we gotta do is remove the cowling here. We're gonna pop her on off. We're gonna set her to the side over here on the back of the boat. And let's take a look and see what I have here. So most of the smart craft stuff is going to be near the ECM. My ECM's right here. And I see my connector already. So this guy has a yellow terminator. So this is where my open plug will go. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. You see how they, they match in orientation. And this one literally says Terminator on it. Let me uh, get a good view for you guys. That says Terminator. That's what this one looks like. And then the one for the vessel view looks just like that, so. This should be real easy. So we're gonna go ahead and 
plug her on in. Boom, she clicked real nice and easy. So don't forget, we got to remove the weather cap. Weather cap is removed. We plug the terminator in where the weather cap goes. Save this. You might need it for later if you change motors. You might need to store your vessel view for a while. So save your weather cap. So before I start trying to find a mounting place, I'm going to download the app and test this guy out. And once I verify that it works, then I'll find us a nice mounting point. Let me get that app installed and then we'll go ahead and do our test run of Vessel View Mobile. All right guys, we're almost done installing this Vessel View, but I wanna pause here for a moment and ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. It'll mean a whole lot to me. It'll keep me making this awesome video content like this for you guys. I do all sorts of fishing related content from prop comparisons to fish finder comparisons to how to's, to fishing techniques, to new baits. I do all sorts of fishing related content on this channel. So I really would appreciate it if you took a minute and subscribed. Soon as I turned the switch on, the Bluetooth light started blinking green. So you don't have to turn the engine to the on position or even turn it over to get a Bluetooth connection. So I'm gonna record my screen here for you guys. Let's go ahead and start the recording. Okay, we're recording. So open up Mercury Vessel View. You're going to have to create an account with them using uh, your email address, your name and stuff. Uh, you can see it's connecting to the module right now and you're not gonna get any engine data because, well, the ECM is turned off. But it doesn't mean we can't play with it. But I'm gonna go turn the engine switch to on and I'm gonna show you guys the data from that. It's a nice loud beep, and you can see it's switched to RPMs. You can see they went to zero from that dash, uh, your fuel and your miles per hour. You have the ability to add things. Uh, you can capture a moment. I have no idea what else you can do in here. Uh, you can add a hazard. Okay, this is all kind of cool stuff. But over here, I wanted to go over to the maintenance. So you can look at maintenance. It says our engine has maintenance that's due. Well, looks like we need to change our oil, uh, inspect our belts, anodes, fuel filters, all sorts of stuff. And it also tells us that we have 108.3 hours on our outboard, which is actually really good. So I'm actually really surprised by that number. I expected it to be above 200. Uh, Apparently, I don't use my outboard as much as I think I do. So uh, we're, we're well below that 200 mark. We're barely above 100. So that's pretty awesome news for me. So I can sail this boat accurately. And whenever I want to go look at someone else's boat, I can just carry this device with me and check the hours on their outboard as well. So whenever I want to go purchase a new boat, I can do that. So overall, this is not a difficult install. I mean, I literally unplugged one thing, plugged it back in, and then plugged in one more thing. Extremely simple. What's gonna be a little more difficult is finding a place to mount this guy that is out of the way, that's away from linkages, uh, and where the cowling will close pretty easily as well. I may go over on this side. Uh, but they give you some options. They give you uh, some zip ties. Uh, they give you a couple screws. Uh, I'm sure you can find a screw or two around here that you can uh, mount yours to, but I have to look for that. So hopefully this uh, showed you guys how to install it. If you're intimidated by doing the Vessel View Mobile, definitely do not be. That was a very simple install. I'm just gonna find a place for this guy. So I'll do that here in a little bit. But later on, I'm going to make a video of all the functions with Vessel View. It's been a while since I've been on it, so I'm gonna learn about it myself again, and then we're gonna go over those functions in a video together. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, smash that like button. If you learned something from this video or if you enjoyed it, 
But just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch us some fish.